There we go. Okay, I uh, it's sealed up with tape, so I couldn't I couldn't uh, I couldn't blacken it out with some marker. But uh, this is from uh, Jonathan C. And I don't know what's in this. Let's see. Oh boy, oh boy. Let's see. Here's a note. As always. Oh wow. Let's see. Okay, here's another business card. Perfect. I'll keep this one in my scrapbook. Let's see. Legendary Realms, Plain View. I guess it's games. It's a game store or something. Let's see. Hey CR, huge fan of your work, from cheap damage to familiar faces, and especially your Halloween specials and countdowns. I have a few things I wanted to kick your way. Hope you enjoy. I manage a game store, ooh, with some friends in New York, and run into all kinds of cool stuff. I also produce stuff for tabletop and role-playing games, and included some samples I hope you like. Oh man, this is great. I love this. <laughs> Uh, I've included two decks of the newest version of the Dragon Ball Z card game. It's pretty cool. And a bit different than some of the other games out there. Uh, I've also included two boxes of a game a friend of mine put together. That's also pretty cool. It's a wrestling themed card game that also uses dice and emphasizes flair and over the top action. We run it at a store every week. There's one last thing I included. It's a DVD from a group I run in it, into at a con a few years ago. And I think it's right up your alley. And I don't want to give too much away, as I think you've gotten into... I think you got to go into it fresh. One last bit. My friends and I also have a Kickstarter going on right now for Tabletop Terrain. If you give us a shout out, that would be awesome. I'd love to give Tabletop Terrain. I'm gonna look this up and include it in the video. I screwed up. I screwed up. I didn't I didn't open the package in time and the Kickstarter is over. It unfortunately didn't get its funding, but hey I, I, you can all visit Legendary Realms, the the website. They've got all sorts of other cool stuff. Uh, I learned they specialized in specially made gaming terrain, you know, uh layouts, models, miniatures, stuff like that. It all looks great. And and again, I'm I'm so sorry I I didn't get to promote this in time. But please check out Legendary Realms. They're awesome. John from Long Island. Long Island. Wow. Let's look at that. Legendary Realms. Oh, that's so badass. Okay. Let's see what we got here. Uh for you, CR, enjoy. Okay, that's the disc of Ghoul A Go Go. Show one, Boogie. Here. Ghoul A Go Go. Show one, Boogeyman. Show two, Mummies. Show three, Spiders. This is made in 2004. Ghoul A Go Go. Wow. I'm going to have to give this a watch. Ghoul A Go Go. Okay, here's a uh, Ghoul of Go Go. Oh, what the heck is this? That's the realms. Is this the is this the wrestling thing or? It's a tree. I got myself a tree. Cool. There's a tree. There's a altar with candles. And here's a bookcase. Oh, this is badass. This is just like a little This is the things people use to run their their uh their 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 oh, campaigns. That's the word I'm looking for. This is awesome. Okay, a little tree, a little altar and a bookshelf. I love that bookshelf. Okay, let's see what this is. Oh man. Ooh. Okay, this is the Dragon Ball Z Evolution. I don't think I have this one. I think I've got another one. I think there's like three or four different decks. Uh, includes Android 17, Android 18, which, you know, I'm not, I'm not into the Dragon Ball Z, but I think Android 18 is pretty... That's her, right? I'm, talk, I'm saying I'm not... 17, 18. I think she's pretty cute. 
uh, but cool. Heroic Super Saiyan Vegeta. Heroic? Really? Okay, sure. Oh, this is awesome. I'm going to have to take a look at that. Yeah, I've... Let's see, I... I've got maybe a couple booster packs of this, but I think there's a different one by something else. And this is uh, the second one. Uh, okay, cool. I'm going to have to look. Okay, wait, no. 60 commons, 40 commons. Each deck contains 70 cards total. A 60 card pre-construction deck. Uh, do, 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 do. Okay, so I think there's like... I think there's like different cards in each one. Yeah, so later on I decided to open one and uh yeah, it's definitely uh, two different sets of uh two different sets of decks. It even says so on the side. Find one of six different tournament ready pre-constructed starter decks inside. Uh don't know how I missed that. One came with Vegeta and the other one came with Android 17. The card stock is much heavier than the uh, regular cards, which I just found interesting. See, that's just even so much that uh, it actually has a bend to it. So, oh, and for some reason, the uh, 17 deck also came with Piccolo uh, at his level four stage. So I don't know if I can play that or if I have to get the one, two, and three Piccolo before that. But uh, that's pretty cool. And this is the, oh, snap, look at this. Look at that. I love it when I run into this stuff. Let's see. Damn. Ooh. Ooh, the hangman. Ooh, who is this artist? This is beautiful. Look at that. Okay, plus four to technique, plus three to submission. So like he said, this is less about a battle system and more about a showmanship system, which totally makes sense if you're going to make a game about wrestling. Uh, not that wrestling's fake or anything. Oh, God. Oh, no. Don't ruin it. Don't ruin it. Okay. Here's what comes with it. Okay, here's your dice. Ooh, what the heck is this? What the heck is that? Let's see. You got a, a something screw. Achilles heel. Something like that. PP with a muscle. I mean, with a G S. S-U, I guess submission? G. A. Oh, this looks cool. These are the rules. Okay, you have... Okay, so there's power, agility, and technique. And those are gimmicks. Okay. Oh, this looks good. This looks really, really good. Okay, so your competitor cards. You have your... Uh, I guess these are your main cards. Oh, snap, look. Rob Graves, that's his name. He's Rob Graves because he's Robin Graves. I love it. This is uh, Snake Pit. That's Snake Pit. Okay, this is great. Okay. Uh, oh, man, this is good. 2016, so this is fresh. This is fresh stuff. Okay. Damn, this looks super fly fine. I got to take a look at this. Uh... Where's the other guy? Okay, so that's crowd meter level two. Oh man, I don't know. All finishers are plus two. Crowd meters. Oh man, they've got the crowd. If you work the crowd, then you get more power. That's awesome. Okay, power is ten. Technique is five. Agility is seven. Strike is nine. This guy is like, what, what's your common? Whew. This guy's got way more on the ball than this guy. Gropar, <laughs> Gropar, Gropar the Great and Powerful. That's awesome. Uh, because I, I, there's, um, I, I've got a few other wrestling, uh, wrestling card games. Actually, I got one. It's like Raw or something or other. I don't know. But, uh, this one looks like way more entertaining than those other ones. The design is, uh, the design is just, it looks like it's cleaner. Uh, it's more engaging, the artwork. I mean, those other ones are basically just, uh, just photoshops. And I think they're not even based off an actual original game. I think they're more or less based off of something that, uh, oh, what was I going to say? I think something Street Fighter did before them. 
But I, and this looks great. Rob Graves. Oh, this is cool. I gotta take a look at that guy. And of course, this is, must be. Oh, there's there. There's just. Is there two of them or one of them? No, it's just the one. But let's see. This is the Hangman. Damn. I guess this this is a finish submission. Okay, so this is like uh this is like an ender. Thank you so much. This is all awesome and I'm gonna definitely look into all this. this is, oh wait no, no, there's something else here. It's little crocodiles. Uh little teeny tiny crocodiles. That's cool. And last but not least, we got something from Chris. Let's take a look. Okay. Yeah, here's a letter, of course. Dear CR, I've been a big fan of yours since your Connie from Doug episode, and it's thanks to you that I started watching the other Channel Awesome uh, besides, oh, other Channel Awesome besides Doug, Lewis, Lindsay, and at the time Noah. Oh yeah, he's, he's no longer with us. I don't think Lindsay's with us either. Uh, like you, I have collected cards and games that I have, did, the, oh. And I am sending some to you in hopes that you will find some use for them. Your big fan, Chris. P.S. I put them in in card tins to make sure that they are not damaged during the shipping. Actually, you know what? I've, I've ragged on the post office, or at least my post office, for denting up the uh, boxes. But these have been coming in, actually, in a pristine condition. So, let's see. Okay, here we go. Let's see what this is. This is uh, some Yu-Gi-Oh cards, I bet. Oh, no, these are Dragon Ball Z cards. Oh, are these... Is this the same as... Uh, are these the same as these? Different? I'm not seeing uh, Panini on this. No, I guess this might be a different one. That's cool. It's Score. I don't know... Score? S-Score? I don't know if that's an actual company or what. Alright, this is cool. I'm not going to read all of these, but... Let's just, let's just go through and see which... Oh! Oh, that's not a... That's not a Dragon Ball Z card. Okay, Dragon Ball Z. This is awesome. Let's see, I, I don't... I'm, oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, like I said, I've only watched ever watched the Abridged series. What is that? What is that thing? Is that a Namekian? I mean, I don't want to sound specious, but... Okay, oh, here, here are the character cards. I definitely know this one. Okay, that's Trunks the Mighty. Ooh, cool. Uh, power up. Oh, what is this? Mighty Mask. That's cool. I didn't even know they made holographic ones. I never got a holographic one in mine. Uh... Pecan the pe pecan pecan the silent. Wow. Okay, so that's that guy. Interesting. So yeah, I know that you have characters, and then you play these different uh, physical combat or dodge cards or energy cards. Oh, wow. Okay, so that's Trunks the Quick. I guess there are different ver There's Trunks the Swordsman and just plain Trunks. So is it like? Is it like Pokemon, where I can play Trunks, and then I can either play Trunks the Quick or Trunks the Swordsman? Even though, yeah. I don't know. And then there's uh, Vinegar the Henchman. That's right. Everyone in Dragon Ball Z is named after food. What is Bulma? Is Bulma named after bulbs? Like the plant bulb? Anyway, this is cool. I'm going to have to take a look at all this and figure out what the heck's going on. Heartstone. This is Heartstone before Heartstone was Heartstone. Uh, Nightbreeze. What is this? Untargetable. Okay, I have no idea what that is. I think I bought a booster pack of uh, World of Warcraft cards. And I think that's what this goes to. I'm going to have to dig that out and take a look. There's another Nightbreeze. There's a steam whistle. All right. Gnome. And there's a wobble bonk. Oh, cool. Uh, ooh. Damn, look at all that. You know what? I never had, the, uh, you know, uh, the, the, a thing for, I guess they call them short stacks. 
Never had a thing until I started playing Hearthstone and was introduced. <gasps> Name of the Beast. This is a quest. Okay, so that's not Sea Giant, but that's, that's the Sea Giant card. Oh, okay, so they got all the artwork. They got all the artwork. It was pre-made. They didn't have to do anything for the original set. Oh. I thought they hired all these artists. Well, I, I guess they did, but you know what I mean. Damn, this looks good. Yeah, this is Hearthstone before Hearthstone. Was... Hey, there's uh, there's uh, the, uh, the, 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 it's not Gnome, it's Imp. There's the Imp Mistress, which is called Imp Master incorrectly. Oh, um, so her name is Acolyte Damia? Huh, interesting. Uh, Damia deals one shadow damage to target hero or ally. Use only one on your turn. So she doesn't even summon the imps. She deals damage. If you put one damage on her, she deals one damage in turn. Okay, well, that's, that's not too dissimilar to what her ability in the game is. Uh, who is this? Uh, there's the, the, the panther. Hero has protector. I don't know what that means, but it sounds awesome. Uh, giant woman, giant woman. Okay, let's see. Ah, ah, there's the there's the Reaper. Cool. I guess it costs zero, but does four damage. Oh, and there's all the little... I guess these are all the, the, the classes that can use this, so it's not class exclusive. Well, I guess it is, but there's Warrior, there's the Paladin, and there's the uh, Hunter. Oh, okay. That's cool. And the Rogue and the, the Shaman can use the Shatterer. Okay, I think I'm starting to get this. Hey, and there's the uh, the pi pirate captain. But these are quests, so I guess these are how you get other advantages? Interesting. Really interesting. I'm going to have to go over this. I have um, a Hearthstone figure... Uh, not a Hearthstone. A World of Warcraft figure game as well. It comes in a box. I think you've guys seen it a couple times. Uh, but damn, these weapons are kick-ass. Okay, and these are, I guess, class cards, because I know that this is the, uh, uh, the order, I guess? I don't know. That's awesome. And these are all Digimon cards, which are, I, I, I got the other version of this. I don't, I've never seen this version. What is this? Man, I gotta look how to play this, but again, they give you plenty of, uh, they give you plenty. Mummy Mon, of course, I remember that one. Uh, ooh, wow, hey, Rapid Mon, and this is Mega Gururu Mon. Gor Gorgo Mon. I think this one evolves into this one. Let's see, and then you've got, uh, Marine Angel Mon. I remember that one. Uh, <gasps> Beetle Mon! I love that, uh, that fourth and, it wasn't the final season, but it was the final season that was on, uh, on not cable TV. Ooh, Marine Devamon. This Digimon can't digivolve. Okay, so that's that's the end of its digivolution, I guess. Oh, I remember this guy. I remember her from the from the show. Hey, Alekmon. You know, I always liked this guy. He was, uh, you know, you know, if you ever had to p pick a character that wasn't part of the show's main cast, but you needed something. I always liked this guy. It was cool. Or Kumamon. I don't think any I I don't think anyone had Kumamon. But that's another cool one. Ooh, cool sting. And then there's uh XV Mon. Oh man, this guy creeped the hell out of me. There's a Frigimon. What is this? This isn't a Digimon. What is this? This is like a it's Vanguard. Okay, I don't know what this is, but I like this blue, uh, this blue ponita they got here. The stallion mane reflects the king's heart and flares silently. Okay, I have no idea what that liberator flare mane stallion. Holy crap, that sounds cool. Let's see, and there's, uh, there's your, your Beelzebub buster mode. Didn't even know that it was a thing. Okay, ooh, what the heck is this? Gulf Mon? What? What is that thing? It needs to do some manscaping, that's what it needs.
And then we've got some chaotic cards. Oh man, I got a bunch of uh, I got a bunch of booster packs, and I bunch of got a bunch of. Uh, but I bought a box set, a big box of these at a uh, at a thrift store one time. I think it was a Savers. Let's see, that's a uh, uh, trampling tackle. I wonder if this is. Uh, I wonder if this is still up and running on the website. I don't think it is. Maybe it's a. Uh, maybe there's some version of it I can find. But uh, I guess I'll have to just do a review of it as it stands. Now, one of the big uh, draws of this this series was okay. These are all your basics. These these things they are their power ups, their moves, their different things like that. Um, but one thing, the draw of this uh, card game was and you can't really see this because it's holographic. Let's see, but you can see this. The draw of Chaotic was is that they did, had different imprintings on uh, on their stats, you see? See, this is 60, 40, 60, and 25, and then 45. Uh, different ones had different stats. I'm going to have to find maybe some duplicates to show you. But the whole premise of kind of the show, they had like two versions of the show. But the point is that you can capture a monster and get, you know, if, if they had just gotten through with a battle and they were weak and then their stats were really crappy but if they got healed and then their stats stats were really awesome um but cool let's see i don't have this guy even though i remember him he was a main character on the show or at least see i've seen him fight in the show once or twice uh never seen this guy by the way this the the artist who one of the artists who does these it has a deviant art account and I love uh, looking at uh, through their artwork. What is this? This one is Hammer Doom Sh Chant Caller. The Assimilated. What the heck is that? Damn. Uh, unique and loyal. It's, its stats aren't very good, but it has Fireproof 10. I, ha I have no idea what that is, but it, it's shiny, so I like it. Um, damn, here's another one. Uh, Monsoon Defender. Yeah, they got different titles. And, uh, let's see, this is, a uh, Mepedian. Mepedian Loyal. Wait, these are the Mepedians? I thought, who's the, like, uh, Cthulhu guys that attacked in the final season? Okay, so the Mepedians are the lizard people. Uh, and, oh, and they just introduced the War Beasts. I remember that from the show, too. Uh, so the Mepedians are the lizard people. The, uh, the Overworlders are like the furries. They're like lions and tigers and stuff like that. Uh, Mepedians are lizards. Let's see, and then you got like bug people. Uh, underworld. Well, that's an Overworld Scout. I remember that one. Damn, these are all shiny. I can barely see what they are. Uh, let's see. Okay, yeah, okay, so this is, okay. Perfect. Perfect, I'll be able to show you. These are two duplicates. These are two of the same cards, see? One has 45, well, one has other one has 45, but uh, one has more health than the other. One has more lightning than the other. Both have the same eyeball... And uh, one is faster. So this one is clearly better than this one. Um, uh, but if... So that's that's the main draw of this trading card game, is that uh, just because you have the same art ray pole doesn't mean that you... Uh, just because you have one doesn't mean that it's better than the other person's at ray pole. This is oh wow! I you've got a lot more uh, rares than I ever did. Damn, that's good. Oh shit! Now, you know what? I'm, it's a shame that this never caught. Well, I guess it did catch on enough, but not not as much as Pokemon or Yu-Gi-Oh or anything like that. Uh, what the heck is this? Wow, Mega Roar. Okay, that looks like a big blob monster. Okay, is that a snout or his eyeballs? It's like like squinty eyeballs or no? I guess not. Yeah, there's another one in here. Oh boy. Sheesh. Okay. Okay. These are just Digimon cards. 
Uh, now I'm going to be perfectly frank with you. I've had a whole ton of these when I, uh, growing up. Yeah, when these first came out, I, I bought a bunch of them. Actually, I didn't buy a bunch of them when they first coming out. I bought a bunch of them when they were going out of business. Uh, not out of business, but, uh, you know, being discontinued. But this is a first edition. All these are first editions. That's cool. Uh, yeah, I've got, I've got, I'm going fast because I've got all these cards. But you can totally tell that these, this is a different game than this one. And I really don't know what you do with it. This clearly has some sort of numbers here. Maybe you throw that into a device. Um, and then play, okay, yeah. This is the Digimon Digitector card game. Uh, if the, if the little device that I don't have, uh, you know, sometimes when you don't have the little device in your hand, they will throw up an emulator or an app that will duplicate what this was meant to do. So maybe I'll be able to do that. But I know that this one was just a straight up card game and it was basically paper, rock, scissors. Uh, if you, if you played these two cards against each other then it was about you used you used the green one you used the type of attack against the the monster that it was so i would use mega ice blast against this scorpiomon and then it would use the twin swords just twin sword not twin swords just twin sword uh, against me but this is uh 420 and this is 430 so the scorpiomon would win uh it it was okay. The idea was that you would use these different power cards to boost the, uh, to boost the. Oh, oh, yeah, there's a, there's a Dragon Ball Z card. Ooh, ooh, what the heck is this? This is another Vanguard card. This is a drugstore nurse. Yeah, I wish. Damn. But you you would use like Iron Drill to try and uh, if your po Digimon has the dig ability, it would get twenty extra points, and that would give it just enough edge to kind of kind of allow it to beat the opponent but I've, I've got most of these yeah I've I don't have Boltmon though that's a Pumpkinmon and a Skull Mermon that's cool I don't have this one so thank you but yeah I'm just going real quick because I've I've, I've got a bunch of these Skull Skull Mermon I remember this guy this guy was the bad ass uh, yeah it looks like most of these are just the Digimon cards and then they, they went through their own little phase where they changed some stuff up they had they had a phase where everything was hand drawn and then they had this this cgi phase kind of like pokemon went through but pokemon eventually went back to uh went back to drawing all their stuff or you know they use different artists for different things yeah nightmon i've got i've got most of these yeah i got that one Ew, that was weird the vadimon that was creepy. <laughs> yeah, you can't have guns in Saturday morning anymore. Well, how about a guy who's made up of guns? The Opossum Mon. Now, you see, I don't know what this guy is. I've never seen this guy before. Huh. Gato Mon plus the Digi Egg of Kindness. Weird. This is bringing back memory. Okay, I've never... I don't know what Doggy Mon is. I've never had that one before. Uh, and it's got Dig and... Whatever the other icon is in the corner. No, I don't. Puppet Digimon. Huh. So he's Toy Agumon, offline two cards. Renamon, offline two cards. Or Terriamon, offline two cards. And by the way, you sacrifice cards in order to digivolve. Uh, and there's Gatomon. There's Pumpkinmon. <laughs> Damn. Oh, wow. There's Inframon. From the movie. Sheesh. I don't think I got that card. Let's see, yeah, and these are, uh... Oh, yeah, you need either a red or green Digidevice, which will Digivolve your Digimon. Uh, oh. Yeah, again, they went through two different editions. You can even tell from the back of their cards, which is kind of garbage, really. Because, you know, you should be... <laughs> There's, uh... Togimon. Tog oh, damn, I don't know how to pronounce it. I forget how you pronounce half these guys, but there's uh, there's one of the movie Digimon. So this he must you must have got this from uh, from movie packs or something like that. There's like Potato Mon. <laughs> uh, 
damn, I remember all these guys. These are all from the, uh, actually, I don't think I ever got Metal Groomon. I know I got a War Greymon. I know I got a bunch of those. Yeah, you got these from the movie, because I been. I don't think I've ever got the Omnimon. That's cool. Uh, yeah, there's, a, there's another movie, Digimon. Sheesh. Uh, got a bunch of those. Yeah, Lady Devamon. Everyone remembers her. Uh, there's uh, Diaboromon. Yeah. But thank you. You have quite a collection, especially the rare movie cards. I don't know if they were rare, but they were... You needed to buy all the stuff in order to get whatever was in them. Uh, Rockmon, of course. Uh, Kawagamon. There's a Gorillamon, who for some, yeah, Gorilla, you know, gr Gorillas, they have cannons, uh, you know, on their arms. Vilemon, damn, I remember this guy. What was that one comic book or book series with the critters? Critters something? It had this little, like, uh, hamster kid, and he was all hairy, but he had hands like that, so that's what it reminds me of. Uh, Dolphinmon, Wizardmon, oh no... He died. Oh, Cherrymon. Oh, I remember this guy. Oh, I, you know, that's another one I was always like, oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, there's another. Wow, you got the whole set of the movie, uh, movie Digimon. That's cool. Well, damn, thank you so much. I mean, I love all those uh, rare movie cards that I never had, and I love all these these other different ones. I especially love this. Uh, especially, by the way. If if you if you including these in the uh, in the card uh, in this set was a mistake, then I will send this back to you. Tell me, drop a, a note uh, in the in the comment sections, or you know, DM me or something, because uh, uh, I don't know if this was part of your personal collection and they just got in there by mistake or what. Uh, but uh, this is all awesome. Thank you so much. Um, and as always, if you guys want to send me something, you can send it here to this uh, this little address here, this P.O. box. And I will um, hopefully make a video about it, um, me opening it. And I'm definitely going to make a video about all this stuff that, uh, you know, the... I've got cards now. I don't have just a booster pack. I can totally do this this World of Warcraft trading card game. That's awesome. I can do a... I could do a episode on Over the Garden Wall and the Dragon Ball Z. I'm definitely going to do one about about the uh, this wrestling trading card game. That's awesome. I love it. Thank you guys so much for everything you've given me. This makes me... Uh, I wish I got to it sooner, but, but thank you. And uh, everybody, just take care.